am the kid moving in jam. Hi, Internet! And welcome to Kid Movie Ninja with your hosts, Fighting Leaf and Husky the Wolf. This is Hello Kitty, a pop culture legend created by the Sanrio Company in Japan. Hello Kitty is most famous for the fact that she exists and is freaking adorable! It was inevitable that she and her line of merchandise would make their way to the States eventually. For example, I have a plastic Pengu case to hold all of my old Pokemon toys, and a little Kuropi tin to hold some of my many hundreds and hundreds of pencils. But what we got for you today beats the law! In 1987, they made a cartoon show so freaking cute it hurts and I love it! It was an MGM produced cartoon by the name of Hello Kitty's Furry Tale Theater. And since I didn't have time to make a real review for you guys, I'm gonna take this week to indulge myself with a little special short review. It's time to show you cuteness like you've never seen it before! It's time for Hello Kitty! The show itself is about Hello Kitty, yes, that is her actual name, and her theater troupe putting on plays showcasing various fairy tales. You got classics like Catula, Rumpel Dogskin, Frankencat, and we've even heard that somewhere out there is a Star Wars parody! And trust me, we'll be tracking that one down eventually. The thing is that this show was made for kids between the ages of 2 to 5, so they have to take some liberties with these stories. But they are just gung-ho about it! That's part of what makes it work so well. For example, the episode Catchula isn't about a vampire going around drinking people's blood, but it sets up one of the best lines I've ever heard in a very young children's cartoon. Get that camera away from her and leave the guest room windows unlocked. I want to drink their milk. <laughs> That disease maniac! Remember in my nut job review when I said that the premise sounded like good, stupid fun? Well, this is a show that knows how to take that concept and run with it. But first, the characters. Well, there honestly isn't a lot to discuss here. Yeah. You got the Sanrio characters, Hello Kitty, Tuxedo Sam, this seal guy named Chip, and the friggin' adorableness that is the little bunny known as My Melody! The, the, the vampire! <laughs> it's so cute! I gotta hug it right now! Then you have the two original characters, Grinder the Bulldog and Catnip. They are amazing. They may look like two typical stereotypes. I've never been so mortified in all of my nine lives. First we learn how to salute your commanding officer. Watch this. Oh. And they are, but they're also really fun. Even the most two-dimensional of them are fun because of how each episode is structured. You see, each episode starts with a short preamble where we see our heroes backstage and out of character. This is one of our favorites from the episode Catula. No use crying over spilled milk. But there isn't time to get more. You know my motto, always be prepared for anything. Here. My melody is friggin' adorable. I'm gonna have a heart attack and die from the friggin' cuteness! Ah! We also see the usually catty catnip, for lack of a better word, being kind and offering a solution to a problem. That's already more depth than a lot of stuff we've reviewed. But once the play starts, they all take on the personas of their fairy tale characters. Catnip and Grinder are usually villains, but only while they're in character. Once the curtains are lifted, they're all friends again! Yay, friendship! Also, here's a bit from Frankie Cat. Hello Kitty is a jerk sometimes and I love it! Now time to see how it all comes together in the execution. This show knows exactly what it wants to be and how to do it. Funny and adorable. It does change classic stories a lot to make them appropriate for kids, but in doing so it makes them into something new! 
Take the story, Frankencat! The tragic tale of a scientist who went too far and a freak trying to find acceptance without knowing how becomes something a little different here. They laughed at me in kindergarten. They made fun of me at recess. Soon they will laugh no more. There are no half measures here. When it wants to be funny, it is funny. And when it wants to be freaking adorable, they cast my melody as a freaking baby in the Rumble Dogskin episode. The feels. Door slam. Wait, what? I love it. Well, that's about it. Wait, what? Already? Yeah, the thing about this show, the beauty of this show, is the fact that it's really simple, really easy to understand, and doesn't take a whole lot of brain power to enjoy it. So, uh... Alright, we can review one of the episodes. Ah! This episode is Phantom of the Theater, and it starts off... What? It's over already? What? No! Relax, Husky, there's more. The curtain falls on top of them and the audience laughs. That's basically the worst thing that happens to anyone on this show. It's so reassuring that no one is going to get horribly mangled in this show because no one deserves it. As it turns out, though, someone sabotaged the stage ropes, causing them to fall. But then Tuxedo Sam here gets caught in a trap. Oh, dig that 80s voice acting. It is priceless. Then the unspeakable happens. It's gone! Someone stole my candy! Not her candy! No! Did you eat it all, you overgrown garbage disposal? Oh yeah, if I had to pick a single significant flaw that this show has, it would probably be the voice acting. Primarily the pace at which words are said, it's not really that good. We don't really care, but it exists, I guess. Catnip accuses Grinder of stealing her candy, and sure enough, there it is in his bag. Grinder claims that he didn't do it though. Then some heartless, no good scum of the earth stole my Melody's teddy bear! If I find the wise guy who upset my melody, I will kill him dead! Fishing pond in a dressing room. It's a big one too! Here it comes! Huh? My teddy bear! He's ruined! I have too many questions and not enough brain cells! In case you couldn't keep up with the subtle intricacies of the plot, someone is going around being a nuisance to the players. Oh yeah, that guy's still up there. But then... What, am I ripping myself off for jokes now? So, Grinder breaks down a door, and no one acknowledges how much pain he's in right now. The gang goes under the stage to get to the bottom of things! Pun completely intended! We have to get to the bottom of this! See? Anyway, they go through the spooky basement, and my Melody's ears are scared! Uh... Oh, her ears are scared! Shut up! I just said that! They find another locked door, but this time it opens up before Grinder can wreck it. Coincidentally, this thing shows up immediately afterward. More screaming happens, but eventually Kitty steps in, takes charge, and reveals that it was just silly old Grinder the whole time. They then hear some organs playing, and it's time for all the secrets to be revealed. And it's time for the wrap-up. Yeah, these episodes are only like 10 minutes long, so there's not a whole lot to... Whatever, here I go.
They discover a little character named Mouser the Mouse playing an organ. He claims to have been living in the theater the whole time. He didn't mean any actual harm. He was just trying to take his theater back. Hello Kitty proposes that they all share the theater and be friends. Mouser agrees and then plays pranks on everyone and never shows up for the rest of the episodes on my DVD. That's it. That's it. Uh, the end! Well, I chose this for a reason. I needed something short and simple to cover and by golly, I got it. I've pretty much made my points already, but this show knows what it wants to accomplish and does so simply and elegantly. I don't need the highest production values on everything ever to call it quality, and this show is living proof that when you really know what you want, sometimes less is more. There. After this we can go back to making real reviews again! Yeah... What's wrong? I just know that next time we'll have to discuss something really terrible again. Cheer up! You'll always have this! Whee! Whee! Higher! Higher! And the world is a better place now. This is a Patreon shout To Steve Sharp and to Jordan Mathis Stay awesome both of you guys And for the rest of you, you can become a patron today just by checking the link in the description below Also, while you're at it, check out these videos as well Want more Hello Kitty? Watch me and VVB watch Hello Kitty for the first time It's glorious